And it's about freaking time. We finally get a full focus episode on my most favorite character in this show, Sara. The best girl. Best almost legal lolly girl in the whole entire freaking show. And I'm just like, yes. Yes, 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 yes. But the reason why is because I like this character so much. It's how appealing she is. How optimistic she is, but yet can be logical at the same time. Now, let's get further into the mind of Sara and the three families. Okay, as we found out last episode, Sara is actually turning 17. So, as I thought, she was actually a freaking elementary school girl who just lives on herself and is very smart. Like, did you see an anime? No. She's actually... You know, it's reasonable for her age, I guess, to be that smart. And I was wondering how can she be so logical and yet smart. At some point, she didn't really act like an actual child. But you know, again, you get that a lot in anime sometimes. The point it confuses you. But nonetheless, I'm glad we got that cleared out the way. So, her, of all the situations that's going on, in my opinion, her so far is the most complicated. What was more complicated than Karen's situation? Her situation was to find her mom and to get off the island and become her own person. But she realized she can wait to do that and don't need to rush into it. Well, Sarah's situation, however, is a bit different. We all know she lives on her own at the shrine. She's really smart. She reads a lot of books. She's logical. But she also turns out she's actually kind of like a doctor in a way. She goes around in the, in, on the island and helping out the people who show some symptoms of soup like syndrome by checking up on them, see if anything's wrong or if someone already got um, the disease. But it turns out no one has so far. So it's good to see that she is a girl that really cares for the island. As you can see compared to the other two characters, Rini doesn't really care much for the island. She stays by herself and she just wants to be part of some legend. That's connected to Sasuna. Karen, however, really doesn't care about the island and just wants to leave it so she can live her own life. Sarah's the only person that cares about the island. She's the only one that wants to help out and she wants to save it. She knows that something bad is about to happen and she wants to do anything in her power to stop it. So, the reason why Sarah believes in Sasuna's theory of him coming in the future is because she also had some type of theory as well on her own. She had a picture in a way that showed her mom and she looks very much like her mom but also the fact that her and her mom actually had the same kind of birthmark on their chest. So we all think okay maybe she is from when the, she goes to the future and has the baby with Setsuna and then she is born. So her theory is that she is her own mom. She goes to the future with Setsuna and she, they get lovey-dovey, and then she is born. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So this is my this is my first time seeing the you're your own parent kind of theory. I've seen it sometimes before in anime, manga, and other forms of entertainment and media. But however, it isn't brought up so often because it gets confusing and kind of awkward at the same time. And it makes some poor excuses for time traveling. It's, let's say that when you put time traveling in almost any kind of show, it makes things so complicated. It's, it's unbearable. So, so far, things have been too complicated. It's just we need to find out what happens in the future for us to understand what's going on right now. So, however, this was not the case for her. Her going into the future, marrying Tsuna and having her own child. This is technically not it. What it really is, is actually something much darker as we found out going through the show. It turns out Rini had some, um, she heard a conversation that her mother was having with the parents. And it turns out that Sarah's family is from a long line of very corrupted and evil people. During the time of Civil Rights Syndrome was very at mass. Her, like, what, like, great uncle, great grandfather, I believe was pretty much he, they said they had a way to stop him from soap like syndrome which was obviously a lie but what they really did in the end was only kill the ones that showed symptoms of it and pretty much put marks 
on the ones that were clear, the ones that didn't show any symptoms whatsoever. So this whole entire time, it was a lie. They only did it so they can keep power among the other two families. So I guess when Sarah's parents heard about this, they decided to commit suicide and, and set themselves on fire. And it turns out that they actually kept her in the, inside a coffin with Sarah so she would survive. It was just ironic because it happens again when Sarah finds it out. She also wishes to commit suicide and therefore um, how she was put into a coffin. So history in a way repeats itself but in a different manner. A standpoint. Because someone like Setsuna is here to make sure things are better. So now, going with Sarah's theory about her being her own mom was incorrect. Now, however, according to Setsuna's dreams that he keeps mostly having are mostly about Sara. Well, some future version of Sara. As we know right now, Sara's almost a fully grown woman. Well, I guess probably in Japan, she is a fully grown woman, despite how small she is. She She's much curvier. She is taller. But she looks more like her mom. And it seems like they had some type of relationship because you see visions of them being close and, and even kissing. So Setsuna has some connection to her in some way. It's very deep. So my theory is, oh, my theory is, what if Setsuna isn't from the future but from the past? What if he got with Sara's mom? In a way, she, he is the father. He is Sarah's father. Think about it. Um, you don't see the father's face in the picture that Sarah has, just the mom. In a way, the body is built just like Sasuna's body. Even kind of the hairstyle is blocking. All you see is the face from this direction and some of the hair and the rest of the body. It looks like Sasuna's body. And it even has the hair kind of like Sasuna's. So it could be possible. But the problem is, is that Sasuna is claiming he's from the future. But is that even possible? Is that even true? Because he's having visions of a younger version of Rini, but he's also having visions of a supposedly older version of Sara. So it could, like I said, possibly be that he is from the past and not the future. The question is, why does he think he's from the future? That is still up in the air, and, and it's really hard to find out. Like, so far, it's Grammel. I'm trying to put things together, and these are just theories, but... I need more to work on, man. I know it's only like what episode five, I believe, and still not enough. However, I actually try to go peek at the visual novels. But however, they're all in Japanese, and when I try to do a wiki on this, there's not much information in the wiki. So I guess this game wasn't really that popular. I guess in Japan, so I just got uh, an anime, and so far the anime is not that bad. It's pretty good. It really sucks that. Um, Love, once again, just like high school girl, not many anime YouTubers are really giving this show a try. I know, like I said before, Ginka also did a video about this, which was surprising, but he just went short on it. He just went like, eh, ain't nothing special about it. And I guess it's not top quality anime, but it's still good for what it is, nonetheless. So, yeah, Island episode 5. It's my favorite only because it's about my favorite character. And her story seems a bit more deep. Because she kept putting more burdens on herself than anything else. She wasn't trying to run away. She wasn't trying to cover up things. She was actually trying to justify her actions for something. I guess what everyone does in life. But in the end, she had to face reality that, that her parents did love her and did try to keep her alive. So they, she can probably redeem the family name. If I were her, that's what I would do in the future, you know? Well, and so far she's already doing that, you know? She's taking care of the village, she's trying to find a way to save it. But however, the parent, her ancestors didn't try to save the village, they were just trying to keep up their name. They were just being greedy and corrupted. And that's not good. So yeah, that is Island Review of Episode 5. I really enjoyed, of course, my favorite character, so there's not much I can complain about. Um, the show so far is doing pretty good. Um, I, I don't know what else they're going to work on. I don't know if they're going to do some episodes of Rainy, of course, and probably Rainy's mom. By the way, the mom doesn't look any taller than Rainy whatsoever. She just looks actually just like Rainy. So, I don't know what's going on there. So anyway, that's all I got for this 
video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share if you could. I'll be much obliged. I have been the Macron on Anime, and I am signing out. Have a good one, guys.